Hi, I'm Nadine Peart from Healthy You, Healthy Love. I'm a coach for smart, savvy women looking for united, sexy love. And in this video, I'm going to share the one word you need to master to get the love you truly desire. Now, before we continue, please take a moment to subscribe to this channel and hit that bell button to get notified of my next hot topic. Of course, I would love to hear from you, so be sure to comment below and tell me a little bit about you so they know how to support you on your path to big love. If you like what I share here in this video, please share it with a friend who's struggling in their love life. So what is this word and why is it so powerful? Well, it's so powerful because many women don't use it enough and is the very word they need to use to create lasting devotion and true partnership. It's only two letters, yet oftentimes not so easy to say. Here it is, are you ready? If you want to experience united love, it's important to know how to say no to a man without feeling guilty. In dating, in a relationship, and in life overall, the dance between saying yes and no can be the very difference between living a life feeling shortchanged and resentful or living a life feeling confident, empowered, and truly loved for the real you. Most of the time, it's easy to blame others for how our life turns out, and yet, these two simple words, yes and no, are the levers between your misery and happiness. And this is a lever no one else can control except for you. But the big truth is most of us know better and yet still find ourselves saying yes when we really want to say no. For example, has someone ever asked you to see a horror movie in the evening that you know sees you feeling anxious and stops you from sleeping? You didn't want to watch it, but you did anyway and didn't sleep all night. Or maybe you date men who don't treat you with kindness and you just keep taking what they're giving. You don't say no, you keep settling for the crumbs on offer. Or maybe your man has some sexual interest that you do not enjoy and yet you go along with it, even though it's not pleasurable for you. Or maybe you pretend to like music or food that don't make you feel good and you just keep pretending that you're cool with it. Some of these things may seem small, some not, and yet they're all significant as every time we go against our values, we go against ourselves, which only has one outcome, unhappiness. Because you can't feel inner peace and happiness when you're out of integrity. Instead, resentment builds distrust in ourselves and even shame. So let's get into it. Number one, why you don't say no. If you're not used to saying no, then it can be terribly confronting and even scary to do so. To help you identify why you tend to push that lever too often in the direction of yes instead of no, here are the most common reasons. You lack clarity because some of us were conditioned from a young age to suppress what we value or we never consciously learned what we value. We're not able to be assertive. We lack clarity in who we are and what truly matters to us. Next is you believe mediocre is better than nothing. Oftentimes, the decisions you make in a relationship can have permanent and long-lasting repercussions. Just the thought of that can lead to feeling too afraid to say anything in fear of making irreversible changes that you might regret in the future. That is why when you're attached to an outcome, saying a simple no can become the most difficult thing you can do. A lot of people resort to becoming a yes man or yes woman because they think being miserable and in a relationship is better than being authentic and honest and single. The reality is we owe it to our partners to be more proactive in making decisions and dictating what is and isn't okay. You'd be surprised that many people will step up and honor your request. The ones that don't are probably not the right person for you. Relationships are about give and take, not give, give, give or take, take, take. If your partner or a friend can't work with you, then that's good information to know. All relationships take some investment. The next point is you say yes to avoid conflict. While you might think that rarely or never saying no might lead to a more peaceful and therefore happier relationship, what this actually does is undermine your voice and your role in the relationship. This leads to a gradual buildup of resentment and even animosity from your side or between the two of you that if left unchecked could spell the end of your romance. Next is you don't believe you're enough or that you're deserving of your relationship wants and needs. When we're so scared of being rejected, we can find ourselves saying yes to something we really don't want to do or accept. We become pleasers and essentially a doormat. This comes back to our sense of worth. When we don't believe we are worthy in some way, we have loose personal boundaries. Next is you're a people pleaser in relationships. You don't say no because you fear that you're not being cool, accommodating or agreeable enough. 
For example, for me, my role in my family was the good child. So to say no meant I wasn't being agreeable and my worth felt linked to helping and doing things right to support others. My life seemed easier being accommodating, getting things right and helping. Sure, these traits aren't all terrible. They can be beneficial. Well, that is until you're living your life pleasing others and not looking after your own needs. To say no can feel terrifying, especially when upsetting people can feel like you're the worst person in the world. But the people that matter, people that matter to you, they will work with you as a team, even if it takes a few goes or a few reminders. Now to support you with this, I'd love to share my free gift, Word Poison. I reveal the most common do's and don'ts when communicating and working with your man. Check out the link below in the description to get your free gift. Once you know the 16 words and phrases to avoid using when dealing with these kind of sticky situations and conflict, you'll be able to share your no's with confidence and clarity. My next point is how to say no when you're scared to. If your worth is tied to how others perceive you in life, then you're going to struggle to feel empowered, confident, and in alignment with what truly matters to you. And not just with men, with all people. The most important thing in life is to know that we cannot please everyone and we certainly cannot please ourselves on a deeper level while we believe that other people's needs and wants come before our own. Further to that, what I previously said, if you want to speak up for yourself, you have to be okay with the idea that not all people will be okay with you saying no. That's how you work out who are your people and who are not. We don't all resonate on the same frequency. That's okay. Saying no without feeling guilty or to say no with confidence is to know your why. Why do I want to say no? Am I saying no to be difficult? Am I saying no as someone has crossed a boundary? Am I saying no because I'm being lazy? Or am I saying no for the greater good of the relationship? Am I saying no because I want to punish my partner? Or am I saying no because if I don't, I will feel like I'm selling my soul? It really all comes down to your core values and how you perceive your worth. To create the life we want, we have to love ourselves and this means making uncomfortable decisions at times. If you're dating a man and he doesn't care that you don't want to watch a horror movie at night, then this is important information. He could watch the movie another time and instead find something to watch that you both like. If you tell your partner that it doesn't feel good to you, then he makes plans and cancels them most of the time at the last minute or he doesn't show up at all and he then tells you that you're being demanding for having some values around this, then this is useful information. He's not a man of his word and he clearly doesn't have room for intimate and mindful partnership. It doesn't make a guy bad, he's a guy with different values. Good to know, not everyone is able to do partnership. If someone does not honor and respect your no, you must know with every cell of your body that this doesn't make you less worthy of love. This doesn't make you unlovable. This is simply information about someone's ability to show up in romantic relationships. Number three, finding the words to say no. Saying no is as simple as just that, saying no. Well, that's not completely true. It's hard to say no when you're not used to it. It's easy to stumble and give in to your old ways, particularly if you feel cornered or pressured to be cooperative. So stay with me as I'm about to give you some dialogue to help you in the moment. One of the easiest ways to start learning to say no is to do so indirectly and gently. Saying no is not supposed to be the trigger for a fight. It's simply a way to honor your values. Some people, when they learn to say no or finally find the courage to do so, they can come across as quite aggressive or argumentative. This is not what I would recommend as this creates more problems. Here are some examples of the gentle no. If you're put on the spot and you don't want to say no there and then, You can say this and then let them know later that you can't do something. This is helpful when you're new to saying no. Some examples are, that sounds great, but I think I have something on. I'll let you know soon. Is that okay? I'm not sure. Let me check first and I'll let you know. Or you still say no, but you present it first with some levity. I'd love to see you and I know we have plans to meet, but I had the most full on day and I'm exhausted. Can we reschedule another time? Or sometimes you're happy to do something. It's not a no, though it's a no at the time of request. You can respond in this kind of way. I'd be very happy to help you with that. Today won't work, though I can help you on the weekend. So there you have it. Those are my top tips on how to learn to say no and its importance in a relationship. 
always remember that knowing when and why you should say no is vital in asserting your values, not sacrificing your sense of self to the relationship. Now, to make all of that easier for you, my program Never Lose Them will perfectly help you to identify and get your values met so that you can finally create magnetic love. I reveal some tools to help you rise above communication challenges and insecurity fast. I'll also teach what I call the LIPS method and the emotional barrier eliminator. These methods will help you to feel empowered with a man and help you to dissolve a man's resistance to intimacy with you. If you haven't got it yet, the link to Never Lose Him is right below in the description. That's all I have time for today. Before you go, if you haven't yet, please subscribe and click that bell button to get notified of my next video and give me the thumbs up. And you know I love to hear from you to find out about you, so please comment below. Also, feel free to share this video with a friend by clicking that share button down below or simply copy and paste the link. Navigating this modern dating world isn't easy, so spread the love by supporting a friend who might struggle with the importance of learning when to say no to actually create the love they deserve. Of course, if you want to connect with me further, you can find me on Facebook and Instagram is my main place these days. My tag is Nadine Peart. Thank you for being here with me. I value you and I look forward to seeing you again at my next hot topic.